Hi, Roy Oppenheim for Oppenheim Law. Uh, sometimes people ask me, what does interpleader mean? What is, what is an interpleader? And the interpleader typically comes into play where someone's holding a deposit and they don't know if they're supposed to give the money back to the buyer or they're supposed to give it to the seller because the buyer defaulted. And so if you're a real estate escrow agent, you have to take that money and either hold it or you implead it into the court in a proceeding called interpleader. And that you say, tell the court here, hold the money and you figure out who gets this money because I don't want to be responsible. And uh, when you do interplead it, the nice thing is uh, that your attorney fees uh, will get paid off the very top of the money. So let's say you're holding $50,000 as a deposit, you interplead it and you had $5,000 in legal fees. Guess what? There's only $45,000 left because your legal fees of that $5,000 will come off the top and then the judge will decide who gets that forty five. dollars We as a title company try not to interplead that money because we feel bad for eating up those, those, those thousands of dollars through legal fees. But sometimes uh, we will have other title companies or other folks who are holding a deposit and they don't want the stress and don't want to want to want to hear of it. They'll they'll basically say, could you interplead the money for us? And yes, we will then interplead it and then our legal fees will get paid off the top of that deposit. So that's what interpleader is. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches.